The letter came as a shock. Residents of Bryony House in Halifax told they have just two months to find permanent housing. It was a move that made me feel like I was back in my house with my visa. Some women have been living here for a year, searching for an affordable rental in a city with skyrocketing rents and one of the lowest vacancy rates in the country. CBC News is protecting their identities because they fear for their safety. They're worried they'll wind up on the streets or back to a violent home. I'm just going to have to kind of white knuckle and grin and bear through that and hope for the best. The latest Statistics Canada data shows a lack of affordable housing is one of the biggest issues facing women in domestic abuse shelters across the country. And experts say this is causing a backlog throughout the system. Most shelters are almost every night at capacity. So that means that they're having to turn women and children away on a daily basis. This shelter in New Brunswick turned away nine women in one day this week. Sometimes it's heartbreaking, but women will make the decision to return to their abuser or not leave, um, which places them, some of them at risk for domestic homicides. Two years ago, no domestic abuse shelters in Atlantic Canada were reporting average stays of longer than three months. Now, some women are staying six months or more. That's why the Halifax shelter says it adopted the two-month policy. It has 36 full beds with 40 women and 20 children waiting to get in. The intent was never for this to be a permanent solution for anyone because we need to be supporting people who are in the throes of experiencing intimate partner violence. The shelter says some women could be granted an extension, but the solution is more affordable housing. And as the two-month deadline approaches, the women are pleading for the same thing. Nicholas Sagan, CBC News, Halifax.